everybody, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel. So I thought I would start the year off with a TBR. Um, we'll see if I stick to actually filming them. So I'm hoping that 2020 is our year. We'll do like wrap ups and TBRs. I think it'd be fun. I don't know. I've got some stuff planned. We shall see. So the first one I'm going to talk about it is actually um, not like a book book. It's actually a journal. And it's called Where You Go, and it's an interactive journal for your adventures with God, and it's written and illustrated by Joanne Gilbert. And I'm terrible at journaling, like awful, um, but I wish I was better. And y'all, you should see the designs and stuff. She created all of the prompts, all of the illustrations, and it they're just amazing. So I thought that it would be really cool to work on it this year. Now I'm going to jump into the fiction reads that I have on my TBR. Oh, <laughs> it's very ambitious. Like, really ambitious. But, um, one of my biggest goals this year is to get caught up on my reading. Last year in September and October, um, I had a wonderful opportunity to do uh, lots of reading for somebody and I loved it it was an honor I would love to do it again but it was taxing and it took its toll on me reading wise and I got into a little bit of a slump and I got really far behind on my review books so um, they keep piling up and it's started to really stress me out um, and it's really affecting because now I'm not doing a good job as a street team member, as a reader, as a friend, as a promoter of all things Christian fiction. I'm just, I'm not doing my due diligence because I got backed up. So I'm focusing this month on catching up on all of my um, review books that I had previously. So that's going to be what most of my TBR is. The first three I'm actually have already started. I lied. No, I have four. <laughs> four that I've already started, so those will be hopefully the first ones that I dive into. We'll see, that doesn't always work. The first one is The Spice King by Elizabeth Camden. Um, I have started this and I am 125 pages in. Uh, it hasn't really been capturing my attention, but yeah, it's a little daunting to have like so much of a story left when you're not loving it. But I've been able to push through books before, so I'm hoping that I can push through again. Next, I have The Story People by Heather Kaufman and Abby from Adventures of a Literary Nature, Nature on Instagram and Lindsay from the Blog Books for Christian Girls have talked highly about this book. And the author reached out to me a few months ago and asked me to read and review it. And I happily said yes, but then I got super overwhelmed and it's been sitting. I have started it um, and I'm excited to get like actually get into it I think like 10 pages in or something like that 12 um so I'm excited to really dive in because I think that I'm going to enjoy the story next is King's Shadow by Angela Hunt and I'm actually probably the furthest into this book I've also been reading this book the longest um I'm on page 208 and it's a really good story I'm really enjoying it so far the problem is is it's very history rich and I love history. It's a lot to chew on. I think that's the big thing is it's a lot of history to know and to chew on. It's very intriguing. It's very interesting. I, this time period is very cool to me. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping to finish this. It just might take me a little longer because I'm taking it like little by little so I don't overwhelm myself with so much information because it is a lot. Then I have Always Look Twice by Elizabeth Goddard. This, this is book two in her Uncommon Justice series. And I read book one, which was Don't Let Go. And I really enjoyed it, so I was really excited when I found out that I could read book two. So I'm very excited to jump in and read this one. Next, I'm really, really excited for this one. A little sad because it's the end of the series, but that's okay because that just means new things are coming from this author. And that is The Major's Daughter by Regina Jennings, and this is book three in her Fort Reno series. I have really enjoyed the series, and I'm really, really, really excited to see how it ends and how she wraps up the story. This is Echoes Among the Stones by Jamie Jo Wright. I am so excited for this book. Um, her books are perfect like winter reads when it's cold and kind of gloomy outside you just like curl up with a good Jamie Jo Wright book 
and I'm really, really excited to dive into this one. Um, I'm not entirely sure what this one is about. I cannot remember. But I don't like going into books really knowing what they're about. I like to be surprised, and Jamie's wonderful at that. So I'm really, really looking forward to reading this book. Next is On Wings of Devotion by Rosanna M. White, and this is book two in the Codebreaker series. I read A Number of Love in 2019 and really, really enjoyed it, and I'm super, super looking forward to this one because I'm very intrigued by the hero in this story, and we got a little glimpse at the lady lead. So I'm really excited to learn more about her and just read their story. Also, this cover and the spine are everything. The green, I can't wait to see the spine of book three because it's going to look great with books one and two, I can already tell. And then the last print book that I have to read for the month is A Pursuit of Home by Christy Ann Hunter. This is book three and the final book in the Haven Manor series. And this is about Jess, a very long-awaited and well-loved person in all of the CF Christy Ann Hunter fan group good readers page I don't know just in the world of anybody who's read Christy's books we all love Jess and we're very very excited for her story and I can't wait to dive in um I'm 20 I lied <laughs> 34 pages in um but this is going to be one that I know once I get into like I'm not going to want to stop so I've need to know that I will have time to finish it because She's one of those books that, like, once I pick them up, I just, I don't stop. And I know that, like, I haven't had time to fully read it yet. But I'm very, very excited for it. And then I have two other books that I'm going to be reading in the month of January. Um, they're review books and they're ebooks. Love You Truly by Susan Tuttle. And I will be reviewing this one on my blog, uh, like, in a couple weeks. And Susan Tuttle has been highly recommended to me by Ashley from Bringing Up Books and Abby from Adventures of a Literary Nature. They both love her stuff so, so much. I'm really, really excited to give Susan's books a go. And I know that Abby and Ashley both loved this book. Like, it was on their top for 2019. So I'm really, really excited to jump in and read it. It looks really, really cute, and I'm excited. And then the last book that is on my January TBR is The Matchmaker's Rogue by none other than Regina Scott. I do so love her Regency stuff, so I'm really, really, really excited to be reading this. This book releases January 10th, um, so definitely be on the lookout for that if you are interested. Her Regency books are so, so good. I love her so much, and I'm really, really excited to read her book. So my TBR is a bit ambitious. It's 10 books plus a few more that I have downstairs. Um, but I think that I'll be able to. I think I might have gotten my reading mojo back and I'm really, really, really excited. Uh, so I think that I'll be able to like jump in and really get a good chunk of them done soon. And I'm really excited to see what the year holds and what this month holds and just all of the reading things. Let me know in the comments below what's on your January TBR. And if you have read any of these books at all in 2019, don't forget you can check out my blog for the love of Christian fiction.blogspot.com where you will see reviews for all of these books. So if you want to know what I'm thinking, you should definitely follow so you can check it all out. And you can check out my Instagram, which is for the love of Christian fiction, where I will be posting about these books too. So I mean, you get it from either way. All my other links are in the description box below, and I think that's it. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Bye!